वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मेकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन इन डिटेल्स अबाउट टूल स्टील मटेरियल्स एंड दैट विल बी हैविंग अ वाइड एप्लीकेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एज वेल एज इन टू द कटिंग इंडस्ट्रीज सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द बेजिक्स सो इन दैट केस ऑफ द टूल स्टील्स बेसिकली द रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन द टूल स्टील्स आर दैट it should be capable of becoming very hard and that will be used to cut the another materials so that is the basic requirement of the tool steel materials to cut the another material that will be material having a ability to cut another materials or can say it will be having a resistance of the wear and scratches so that it should be able to retain its hardness at higher temperatures commonly developed the during the cutting operations of the steels and many other materials so these properties is called as a red hardness so such kind of hardness it will be present at higher temperatures that is the basic requirements of the tool steel material not only at the room temperatures but such kind of hardness it will be required at the elevated temperature or you can say high temperature so that hardness is being present at higher temperature this property of the tool material is known as a red hardness and that is the essential conditions for any tool steel material so further tool steel should not be brittle and should have good strength that is also required so just you can see the different uh, wear characteristics or you can say hot hardness so which kind of alloying elements it will be added so vanadium molybdenum cobalt chromium manganese such kind of alloying elements it will be added into that steel material so you can achieving such kind of properties into these materials and that is my hot hardness or you can say red hardness and which is the very essential conditions second your tool steel material must be having a wear resistance then and then it will be increasing the life of that particular tool as well as this material it will be having the ability to cut another materials so vanadium molybdenum chromium manganese then also requirement of the deep hardening process then toughness so here the sum of the alloying elements it will be given into your materials so the basic requirements is hardness or you can say hot hardness second corrosion resistance is there molybdenum manganese these all are the basic alloying elements it will be added for the tool steel material so next that will be high speed steel or you can say hss so hss the name is given most common tool steel material which will be having a wide applications to cut the hard materials so this material having ability can cut steel at high cutting speed so the cutting speed is higher so it will be increasing the temperature at the tip of the tool as well as nearer to your chip area so the higher but high speed steel can retain their hardness up to the 600 to 625 degree centigrade so hss having a good hot hardness is being present so you can see that up to the 625 degree centigrade such kind of material having a hardness is being present in your materials so this material it will be having the ability to cut the materials at elevated temperatures so the property of the red hardness comes from the addition of the tungsten so tungsten is a major constituents for hss materials and typical compositions if you observe that so the 18 percentage of the tungsten is being present along with the tungsten 4 percentage of the chromium so resistance of the corrosion also there then vanadium 1% and the carbon just you can see it will be 0.75 to 1 percentage is present and rest of the things it will be made with the iron so iron carbon along with the tungsten chromium and vanadium it forms a high speed steel which will be having a good characteristics at higher temperature to cut the hard material tungsten is costly metal because of the it will be added so 
can be found with the molybdenum can be also imparted red hardness to steel actually the half percentage of the molybdenum can replacing one percentage of the tungsten so if you want to decreasing the cost of your product or you can say high speed steel molybdenum is far cheaper than the tungsten and both are having a similar kind of equivalency but tungsten it will be increasing the cost of your tooling materials after this in that case of the high speed steel with tungsten known as a t series and hss with the molybdenum that will be known as a m series so if you want to purchase hss tools so you know that the t series materials as well as the m series materials so basically t series materials it will be added with the tungsten and m series material steels that will be with the molybdenum so as from your requirement of your tooling materials you should go for that but into the open market it will be available with these categories so someone are interested with the low cost so that will be go for the m series material and some applications it will be requirement of the t series materials so a very useful hss has a composition of the 6% of the tungsten 6% of the molybdenum 4% of the chromium and vanadium up to 2% and rest of the others are the iron with the carbon another version of the hss is called as a super high speed steel it means for heavy duty tools and has about 10 to 12% of the cobalt 20 to 22% of the tungsten 4% of the chromium 2% of the vanadium 0.8% of the carbon or you can say that will be my eutectoid steel and rest of the other is a iron so 0.8% means it will be my eutectoid steel so these days tools are made of the tungsten carbide and other material besides hss after this special alloy steels so that will be first one the manganese steel so in that case of the steels contain small amount of the manganese to mitigate the bad effect of the sulfur if sulfur is being present into compositions so that will be deteriorating the property but if you mitigate the such kind of effect of the sulfur you have to add the manganese so the true manganese alloy steels contains much larger amounts of the manganese they have work hardening properties so they are used to for the railway points and crossings and with the uses they become more wear resistance and that is the basic requirements after this in case of the special alloy steels the nickel steels so nickel can added into steels up to the 50 percentage and nickel makes the steels that will be highly resistance to corrosion non magnetic properties is being present into material and having a very low coefficient of the thermal expansions so that is the basic requirement of the tooling materials the such steels are used for the turbine blades internal combustion engine valves or again say high temperature applications then after chromium steels so chromium steel makes the corrosion resistance material increasing its ultimate strength strength and also iso strength of the materials very often alloy steels are used in the both the chromium and nickel being added chromium nickel steel wires are often used into the furnaces toasters and heaters after this in case of the special alloy steels that will be silicon steels so a steel containing with the 0.05% of the carbon about 0.3% of the manganese 3.4 percentage of the silicon processes extremely low magnetic hysteresis and is used widely for making laminations of the electrical machines then silico manganese steels are also used frequently for making the springs materials so these all are the applications I hope you can understand this if you like this then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering students thank you so much and keep watching